Can we get a flicker? Yeah, we'll just keep rolling until you can figure out if it's the shutter or whatever. All right, guys, we're going to start filming in like five minutes. All right, man. So how old were you? The Mendels adopted me when I was about 18 months old. So you don't remember your real mama. I mean, to me, my adopted mom is my real mom, but no, I don't remember my birth mom. Well, isn't that something? I have never had a Jewish in my house before. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you with this. Do you like my hair? Uh, Duke dyed it. He said that the red made me look kind of witchy on camera. <laughs> well, I guess he wouldn't know better than me. But he looked great, though. <laughs> What's so funny? So we're both orphans, huh? But, but we did all right, didn't we? So, um, what is that crooked thingy y'all hang outside your front door? Oh, Mazaza? Oh, it has prayers inside. And, and it's written in Hebrew. Okay, we're, uh, we're ready to start filming. Now. Hi, y'all. Welcome back. I'm so excited you're here today because we're going to do something really fun. I invited over my neighbor Brandy Jo to come cook with me. She works down at the World Food Mart and they specialize in world foods and drive through gun accessories. I invited her to bring something special from the Oriental section. So here she is. Come on in Brandy Jo! Okay, so what exotic ingredient did you bring for us today? An exotic fruit. Honey, is this oriental? It's Chinese, I think. Now, uh, let's think of what we can do with this. I gotta pee. Son of a biscuit. What the heck do I do with these things? I think I've seen these things on salads before. Sure. That could work. My friend Jeannie just gave me some fresh lettuce. I just have a few other things I need to gather. Ugh, I hope she remembers to wash her hands. Brandy Jo, don't forget to wash your hands. I do not need pink eye and my matchstick carrots. All right, so tomatoes, carrot. All right, now sweetheart, did you want to help me cut up the... Where did you get that? It was by the toilet. Duke must have took it in there. I keep telling him to put his things away. What? Honey, nobody called you. I heard my name. I was just telling Brandy Joe that you need to pick up after yourself. Brandy Joe, aren't you just addicted? I can't put it down. I left my copy at the ammunition <laughs> counter at work, but I've been dying to see what happens next. Well, you can borrow mine. I'm on my second read through oh. anyway. <laughs> what are you reading? Y'all, we are doing something else right now. There's a lady at our church named Ellie Davis. She writes Christian versions of romance novels. This one's called 50 bales of hay. Yeah, she sets them all in Bible times. This one's about a rich shepherd. Got more sheep than he knows what to do with, but he's lonely. Well, until he meets a woman named Anastasia Magdalene. She makes clothes out of wool. <gasps> that part where he makes her measure him for a sweater? Oh, Duke, you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> what chapter are you on? Uh, chapter 15. Thy, thy rod and thy, thy staff. Oh, you're about to get to a real steamy part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody at the church just loves these. Yeah, we've all read them. I haven't. You haven't even tried. Well, I guess I just prefer the original 50. And I guess I just prefer not to go to hell for reading Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Ellie showed me a chapter from the sequel, 50 Bales Bigger? Duke Lemoncourt, are you telling me there's a sequel? To. Oh, you could knock me over with a feather right now. <laughs> Duke, don't you have something better to do? Call me when you finish. I want to talk about the end. I, um, 
I, I have to go to, I have a, a lot of things. I know you're just gonna go home and read that book. Look, you're just upset because it's got more of an audience than your little salad show. Fine, suit yourself. Can I have a corn dog? You said if I came over, I could have a corn dog. They're in the outside freezer. That book is not even that good. I thought you hadn't read it. Well, I skimmed it enough to know. Okay. Let's just reset this and we can start from the top with just you. Well, now I want a corn dog. so much for coming back y'all. I hope you had fun making this delicious oriental salad. And remember, when life gives you lemons, just give them to Virginia. Okay. Nice work. You're getting better at this. You're, you're more confident. Yeah? You mean it? Kid, you got huspa. Is that Jewish for confidence? is Jewish for confidence. <laughs> you need help on clipping that? Yes, and thank you. You know what, I'm starving. I'm gonna try this salad. Mm. Oh, when I opened the fridge and realized I only had ranch dressing, I thought it might clash with the oranges, which is actually pretty good. Come here, try that. You know what? Sure. Hey, camera boy, your red light's blanking. Oh, thanks. <laughs>